Hello everyone, this is Ron from iTech Legion once again to the welcome screen of the Nero 12 Platinum software suite. We are now going to take a look at the Nero Quick Media software. Find by clicking here on the right and launching the program. Now Nero Quick Media is essentially a multimedia management program. It allows you to manage your photos, your videos, your music, and also to um, there are some features where it allow you to share it, to view them, and uh, maybe. Sh uh, Post them on your um, on your website, or uh, allow you to tag them, easily sort files, or just burn them on a disk. So for um, for archiving purposes, as you can see here on the left side, it is automatically reading the USB drive I have plugged in, just in case you need to import photos. See there, it's uh, it detected that it has 877 photos, has seven music uh, items in there, and of course you can choose which you want to import. You can just select the folder and click the import and it will import the photos that are in there. Now if we here I have wallpaper folder 13 photos just click import type in the album name and click OK from the drive it will automatically be imported. You can see here on the left side the progress bar. Uh, the layout is very simple and easy to use. It looks um, as you can see everything is easy access. Here at the bottom you have your playback and other option tools here on the left side your progress uh, while the navigation is also here above that similar to windows and you have more option here on the main uh, window and on the right side for the description and information as you can see here is also is indexing the faces automatically if there is uh, there are images to be indexed there let me click home here as you can see that it recognizes the faces and the photos on my automatically and you can name those uh, people in those photos so that uh, it is easier to sort through although as you can see there is some little bit of glitch that does not look like a human face there but uh, for the most part it is very good at recognizing the faces as you can see here and we can just uh, tag them in our uh, in our uh, near quick media software suite so here we go just click enjoy naming persons and it shows you how to uh, name that person we go here on the photos and videos to the main site and uh, let's go to timeline you have, you have three options timeline faces and find we don't have any faces yet so for example this one with uh, we took a CES I have sorted out let's stick for the one that's time stop that's actually a, a newly edited one I so for the one we took in January earlier in January in Las Vegas this year uh, should be some faces there and that's it faces 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 here we go we are we have, we have our photos in here and let's try this photo here with Paul our editor-in-chief from High Tech Legion and you can just click here at the bottom it says name person you can also edit the photo see the description in there it shows up if you have the information media info tab enabled so click uh, first I'm going to show you edit photo what options are available you can change the uh, adjustment auto enhance your auto exposure for lighting expose color so as you can see there it uh, improves the brightness uh, you can straighten it if in case uh, your, your photograph wasn't straight and your red eye removal of course a common uh, feature especially if your camera is one of the older ones that doesn't have a red eye removal feature and you can always just revert to original in case you don't want to make any changes and uh, adjustments brightness backlight temperature saturation and your effects if you want to do that of course kind of like Instagram uh, just close this uh, option right here we'll go to name person as you can see there once I click that it automatically detected the faces I've actually typed in Paul in there already and uh, CM storm girl in the uh, Las Vegas suite we were in and uh, once I uh, I only need to name it once and if I uh, look at other photos that has Paul's face in there and her uh, the girl's face in there it will automatically be detected as you can see in there it detected Paul and the other girl the model from Cooler Master Suite and another person that I haven't named and, and if I could keep on going it detects faces of people automatically you have to yeah if you build your database add uh, people's names in there and then it will show up on your um, when once you sort your photos 
here on uh, you can sort them things there you can sort by by a thumbnail you can sort by list or you can sort them by tag shows up I don't have anything marked yet and you can also find them easily once you have that tag in there as you can see that it generated those tags for me I have them separated in folders and, and uh, Neo Quick Media automatically generated those tags so it's easier to sort through for example I have here my fo uh, photos from um, from my uh, day three in uh, CES 2012 I just need to click that and every photo I took that was tagged with the day three CES 2012 shows up there as you can see easily sort sorting through them uh, it's much easier you don't need to uh, separate them folder again and all you need to do is manage them here in near quick media and of course there's some options here where you can again sort them through faces if you've sorted them out uh, sort them through uh, tagging and with a description you can always add them later on and uh, the similarly here in the music tab you have that option as well you can mark them uh, you can, of course there's no faces since it's audio but you can sort them by genre artists albums and uh, titles I haven't uh, had uh, much audio in here to add but similarly if you can navigate the photos and videos music is much easier to navigate with that also here if you have any projects here at the bottom you can see that you have an open uh, if you've saved a project you create a new project and you can create basically a calendar card photo book instant photo book slideshow or an album of course uh, this is especially useful if you are for example you you go to a lot of trips like your maybe your grandmother it is very easy for her to use you can she can create cards for books she can share it to everyone in the family much simpler uh, she doesn't need to use multiple programs she just needs a single program like the Nero quick media software also you can order a photo product from that album you create as you can see grayed out right now since I have uh, don't have any photos imported and the edit project is also accessible in here if you have one see the option here let me go back to force images let me show you what is let me just select this photo as you can see the options down here at the bottom they're available again a photo we saw that add to you can add it to a an album you can add it to a uh, other project right now we haven't started a project so it's not it's all grayed out but once you start a project you can add uh, a photo here or a music uh, or a video from your library into that project and you also share them directly as you can see here through email you have to set this up first of course and online communities see how convenient it is all in one control panel at the bottom and uh, let's go back up here you have uh, it also detects what is on your uh, DVD drive blu-ray drive I actually have a blu-ray drive here it's being detected uh, right now I have the pre-launch version of the software so it doesn't have a blu-ray capability yet but of course once the uh, the product uh, embargo lift has uh, has been released uh, we don't have any, uh, the prog program is not under bargain anymore it will have full functionality but for now um, I'm just showing demonstrating that there is a blu-ray functionality player with, built into the Nero quick media and other uh, DVD uh, player functionality in here as well and uh, also here is the Apple device compatibility converter as a built-in converter you can just drag and drop your videos and photos into the icon here this window and it basically converts your video into uh, a format that is playable playable in your Apple device uh, if you have an iPhone 4 or iPad or something newer it can handle high definition devices you can just click this option right here at the bottom for that and also as I mentioned earlier it automatically detected my USB drive and as you can see there it uh, sorted out my photos for me already uh, by folder and uh, you have your music as well and you can change the device setting in here device option device setup inside the airport automatically if you want to set that up uh, of course you want it to load faster you, you want to just disable this for now and sync to device automatically if you want uh, from quick media to that device maybe it's a mobile device or a camera so that you are uh, just uh, you don't need to copy files all the time you don't need to make sure that uh, just in case you forgot to copy it to your drive sync to device automatically does it for you and let me just demonstrate the options right here on top what are available uh, for general you can uh, for it, it uses Greystone music database for generating the tags for your uh, music that is on your that you imported also um, you can see in here the library you can add or remove folders which folders it will automatically watch for uh, while you are uh, loaded with the uh, while you have the quick media program loaded 
you can add or subtract photos in that those folders that are being watched and it will automatically reflect your library so that is very convenient you have also a filter here for ignoring small files just in case uh, you don't want to import the small files that are maybe part of uh, some programs you don't need them so uh, you have your audio options in here for output and compression level when you uh, transcode them for photos of course your uh, face recognition you can disable them here this is of course for speeding up the load times because usually it takes a while for uh, face recognition to happen uh, when you automatically import items and you it wants, you just want to get in that program uh, maybe save it or import it and you don't want the face recognition you can disable it in this part here for the video you can enable hardware acceleration hardware interlacing for GPU of course this is uh, uh, we've sh demonstrated earlier the near reencode the uh, how to transcode your files and it's a lot faster it compresses the files a lot more and much more optimized to the playback uh, and to be able to be played back into the device of your choice in here you can enable hard acceleration to e speed it up even better of course you have to have supported hardware for that to work here your import devices and options you can set the folders and uh, that, that you need to work with for your music photos and videos where, wherever they will uh, uh, import the those files from now burn copying options, you have the options in here, CD ripping, place albums, and streaming as well. Uh, you have your DLNA and European P media that is be able that is able to detect this. It will uh, look for the Nero Quick Media uh, server name. You can set this name whatever you want, of course, just uh, rename it in here. But by default it is called Nero Quick Media. So just click OK here and uh, let's go back. I I mentioned I didn't know I didn't mention that uh, there is automatic uh, there is an integration here for the Nero uh, Express burning utility, and we can just directly burn it from Quick Media to a uh, optical device from here. As you can see, just very simple. Just click that button, and also there is a market tab here where um, you are connected to Nero's uh, market. Uh, it takes a while to load, and uh, of course, it requires online connectivity. Uh, the market is not loaded yet since again as I mentioned just like the blu-ray feature uh, It is under I'm doing this review under embargo. So uh, once the embargo lifts the functionality will be here and you can buy add upgrade to your Nero Product in this page also you can sign in here an option you can join the Nero community They have a large community online where you can uh, leave questions answer questions leave comments interact with other Nero Platinum product users or uh, rather Nero uh, product users depending on whatever uh, right they have maybe you have questions on how to uh, have to use some certain program or uh, tips on on your projects that pretty much covers it here for your left side you have uh, for your help options you have your product manuals online tutorials of course they're not available yet but they will be engage uh, once again in case you need help with your Nero product and that pretty much covers it it is a very comprehensive program it has a lot of features but it is deceptively simple as you can see here is very easy to use easy to navigate um, I have no doubt that even older people or people who are not experienced with computers will be able to use this program and that pretty much covers it let's go back to our uh, the rest of our review and and um, you can read the US review at www.hitechlegion.com Leave questions or comments below and go back to the main Near 12 Platinum software review in this window. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.